Hello, this is an introduction to what is a Wacom tablet. At the Ontario City Library Makerspace Lightspeed, we have Wacom tablets which you can use to draw and illustrate different things using different programs on the computer. One of the programs that we use is Sketchbook. So in Sketchbook, you have different access to different tools over here on your left side right here. You can see that there's a variety of things right over here and you can draw using the tablet and the pen that it comes with. You'll see that over here on the left there are different brushes and if you click right here there's actually more brushes as well. The pen and the tablet have really great sensitivity so you can see that I have a pen tool right up here at the top. I can just lightly brush across the screen and it'll give me a very thin line as if I was just lightly touching it. And then if I wanted to say go for a thicker line, I would just push down on it a little bit harder and you'll see that it gets thicker. You can also change the color right over here. And there's also buttons on the top of the tablet that will let you use different functions. For this, it has space, undo, opacity, and then brush size. For regular use or other stuff, it may change. If you download the Wacom app from the actual Wacom website, they have guides on how to download the app to your uh, phone or to your computer, and you can actually use it to program different shortcuts for different programs. So you can use it in Sketchbook, but you can also use it in Inkscape. Using it in Inkscape, uh, your stylus will take over the use of your mouse, but over here you can use the square tools to make squares and stuff like that. You can use it to do different things. Uh, I'm gonna undo it right over here. I'm actually gonna show you that you can use the pen that it comes with. You can tap once and then just make a straight line. Tap again. And then once you wanna just end it right there, you can just hit, you can double tap on it and then you'll have your line right there. Let's say you wanted to freehand, you can use the freehand pen right over here and you can bring images in here and you can actually trace them and create paths to vectors by hand. So if you wanted to mess around with that, that's something that you could do. Um, you can also use it for other things as well. So right here we actually have like a pen tool. So let's say you want to do calligraphy, you can just write things out. And that's how you can use it in Inkscape. You could even use it in Paint. In Paint, you're not gonna have the sensitivity or anything else like that, but if you just wanna start drawing something um, just to make like a cool doodle or anything, you can just do this, go there, and draw a happy face. Or you could even draw a nice flower. I'm gonna try drawing a daisy. So I'll start by making my circle and then doing my outline on my petals. And I'm not the best artist, but it's much easier to use the tablet than it would be to use a brush. So that's a variety of stuff that you can do with it. The Wacom tablets are free to use in Lightspeed. And you can just come in, if you have your own computer, you can come in and bring your computer and just connect your computer using the USB cord. And you can just get started right away. It's just plug and play. Thank you for joining us in Lightspeed. Be sure to stop in the next time you visit the Ontario City Library.